Come on, don't shoot him. Down. Shoot him. Shoot him. I'm not 30 minutes away. Come on, hurry up. Oh, there's two of them now. Come on. Just shoot him. Come on. That was, I'm 30 meters away. Come on, shoot him, man. Shoot him, man. <laughs> that was a not long time. So I wanted to take some time to talk about Ground War in Modern Warfare 2. Because I feel like the game mode does not get enough love. If you guys have been around my channel for a little bit, you know that I am a sucker for some Ground War. I absolutely ran shit in Ground War in Modern Warfare 2019. And at least that's what I tell myself to make myself feel better. Ground War in that game was damn near perfect. With the combination of the movement and the map design. With Modern Warfare 2019's fantastic gunplay. It was a great time. And I spent a lot of time in it almost over three years to be exact. And coming into Modern Warfare 2, I was hoping that it would have some sort of the same magic but things don't always work out the way you want them to. And you may be asking, Colvino, what do you mean by this? Well, I wouldn't be lying if I said that Ground War wasn't exactly the greatest thing about this game. And I'm not saying that it's all bad, because there are some moments in Ground War where I feel like a fucking action hero. Like, straight out of an action movie, I feel like Jason Statham or some shit. Like, take this clip for example. I'm just in Ground War chilling, having a good time, trying to get some long shots for the Tempest Torrent, and... Well, this happens. Can you guys think of any other mode in Call of Duty where you can do that kind of bullshit? No, you can't. And that's the novelty of Ground War. It is just so different and a nice change of pace. So I spend most of my time in it because you just cannot beat this experience. And overall, Ground War is just fucking funny. It's really funny. You, you can just do the, some of the dumbest shit and some of the dumbest shit just happens. And it's a wonderful time. Oh, jump out, jump out, jump out. What is this? Okay, okay. What are we doing? Matt, Matt. Apparently, wheelies. I didn't mean to do that. Matt. The game did it on its own. I hear him above me. I'm gonna play this like a campaign mission. All right, I'm moving in. If you're up there, I'm sorry. I don't see him. Target Holy down. Shit. Tango down. Neutralized. I don't think I want to. What the fuck is this? Now I can just sit here and continue to blow smoke up your ass and fart out rainbows, but what you're really here for is the negativity. Because I know the COD community. You motherfuckers love negativity. So let me shit on Ground War a little bit. It's not without its problems. Similar to Modern Warfare 2019, it has a... Sentinel issue. Light, lit him up for you a little bit. Yeah, sure. Oh, you're dead! He's on Yo. the other side of the map! You got killed? Dude, where did I just get shot from? Dude, he's- What the fuck is this? Where is he? He's playing a campaign mission. Dude. He's still in the water? He's still in the water. Venturing over here. Do not venture over there. Do not venture over there. All right, get out of your spawn! Get out of your spawn! Yeah, 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 I know, I know. An Infinity Ward Call of Duty has a camping issue. Who would have guessed, right? Fucking shocker. The other thing about Ground War in this game where it does not touch Modern Warfare 2019's version is the map design, or at least the base map design. So you guys remember Tavor's District, the map with about 5,000 skyscrapers and all of like the 48-year-old dads would sit on top of them with their HDRs, get like four kills a game. Infinity Ward decided, hey, let's take Tavor's District and remake it five separate times over. The Ground War map design in this game is almost criminal every single map just has so many of these high vantage points and it just ruins flow of all these matches because no one wants to fucking move now they're on b bridge ow no there's no way there's no way no why am i mantling why am i mantling 
Why am I mantling? I just want to note that all of those clips were from the same match. So you see where I'm coming from. Speaking of map design, I really do have to say the two new maps that came with this past season, Al Malik International and Zaya Observatory, are fucking great. They are 10 steps ahead of what the original five were. Because this is exactly what I was looking for when it came to these ground war maps. Infantry focused tight combat with some mixed in good power positions and choke points I, I can't reiterate how much better these maps are and coming in season three are two new ground war maps rohan oil and uh i forgot the name of the other one but it has afghan on it it looks like they're including some of the old call of duty maps into these ground war maps so it makes them seem a little more familiar and people are less afraid to engage with each other and honestly i would rather see some of these maps in 6v6 and 10v10 if this is what we're doing this is fine because i frequent ground War. But to get back on track, Al Malik and Zai Observatory are just way better for infantry gameplay. They just encourage it so much. Matt, I, th Matt, I think we got not real players again. Oh, said because your VPN. Oh, yeah. Should I be worried? <laughs> no. Where was he? No, I'm still alive. Behind us. Stand behind us. Stand behind you. Behind you. I jumped. I dropped on that guy like Batman. Murdered him. Terrible. This is what puts these two maps above the rest of the pool. It has the most Call of Duty-like feel just on a larger scale. It doesn't have that tank influence either. All these other maps just have all these fucking tanks on the map, and it's just exhausting to deal with. Yeah, he's on the boat. Yes. You got out of the tank, Sam. Throw the tank. No, I don't have any drills. <laughs> There's three tanks over here. I'm, I'm oh, God. Oh, what? See ya. He's driving in the water! And you may be saying to yourself, Colvino, it's ground war. It's the battlefield knockoff. There's going to be tanks everywhere. Get over it. And to that, I say, no, I will not get over it. I'm a stubborn little bit. Modern Warfare 2019 did not have this problem. It blended both elements of COD and Battlefield. It had that grand scale with the map design and the lots of players, but it still felt like Call of Duty. I'm not asking for like slide canceling and all that bullshit back. I just want these maps to reflect more Call of Duty and less Battlefield. So I only have two things to make this mode a lot better. Tighter, more infantry focused map design and a lot less vehicle influence it'll make this mode way better and even though there's been no communication whatsoever because that's infinity wards thing leave all the players in the dark it seems like they're grasping this feedback a little bit these two new maps have those two things in place they're more infantry focused and there's a lot less tanks and they are the best two ground war maps in the game i'm hoping that this is the direction going forward there's a lot to look forward to in season three in total there's going to be five original maps coming to the multiplayer which is cool paleo's lighthouse looks interesting black gold i don't know about black gold Gold. I like the night vision mode in Marvel for 2019 as a side thing to take a break from the normal game having it just force night vision all the time it might deter some people but we'll see i just want to leave you guys with this i'm getting back into the game a little bit more i know that i've been essentially non-existent over the past couple months or so and i'm sorry about that but hopefully with season three i can get things back on track and uh start making some more content again so anyway Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. I greatly appreciate that. And if you're new around here, subscribe. I post mostly Call of Duty content, so if you're into that kind of thing, definitely subscribe to the channel. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Peace.